What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Bold and the Beautiful. I am That Chick Angel, and I am joined by my husband, Marcus Tanksley. What's happening? Mrs. Melissa Fredericks, also known as Mrs. Kev on stage. Hello. And an award-winning <laughs> author. Come on uh, and proclaim those uh, things. Already, already. Hey. And we're also joined by... I was about to say Mr. Kev on stage, but he just goes by Kev on stage. This, this episode is brought to you by Marriage Be Hard. Please. Yeah. Gang, Download gang, gang, the pre order right now. Do we it try right to, now. We're trying to prove to the publisher that we can hit 5,000 by the first week. Mm-hmm. So we got to Sunday. First. We was at 157 this morning. No, no, 1,000 we already beat. Okay. Now we're trying to beat 5,000. Where's your mic? Oh, I didn't see it out of the corner of my eye. Well, perfectly Well, shoot, we might not, y'all might not hear another number out of me, but once we hit that five, then, then I'll be quiet. Okay. So it's been a long time since we've done a mukbang because we've been so busy in Married at First Sight. Mm. Got a lot of people that they marrying, and they just, they don't stop. They don't quit. So There's a whole Married at First Sight Australia happening at the same time. Did y'all know? Yeah. I don't watch it, though. That's the goal. Ooh, yeah. I'm more so into American ratchetness. Than I am to <laughs> other people. Other being oh, ratchet. Oh, thank you. Hello? Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel like everybody is in, everybody at this table has a new production currently happening. So this is true. That is what we're talking about today. The new production. Ain't that something? See how she just the threw that on? The production. I'll handle yours. Listen. Everybody, so we've got uh, Kevin, who is about to go into his uh, first, well, not first, oh, first We're going to talk about what we're eating, because there are people always, they, oh, they okay. used to ask, I don't know. This is Blue Jam, we're doing brunch. I have the salmon hash. Salmon? Salmon hash, with awesome. the hard L. I have um, the breakfast quesadilla, with some uh, potatoes in there, and crunchy French toast. But data. That list. Um, I have a. Um, I just wanted the potatoes. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's I got a double. A scrambled egg. It's supposed <laughs> to be a poached egg, but poached eggs are not good. Oh, I did say that. A double. Mm-hmm. I just got it. Um, <laughs> with some ham and an so, uh, English muffin, which I've decided I'm gonna make from scratch. Do it. Be so suburban. Yeah. <laughs> I got brunch carbonara, which is rice, arroz. Uh, eggs on bacon. I thought eggs was huevos. They are. It was. I couldn't think of that. <laughs> huevos y jamón de la bacon. And I also have French toast. And I also uh, have eggs and stuff. You shouldn't be eating eggs. Oh, my God. You shouldn't be eating eggs. Because I d- I did this thing for the CDC and the doctor was like your cholesterol is a little high and Melissa just ever since then. Oh, well, listen, because she's trying to have you be alive. Thank you. I mean, song by Beyonce. Melissa is probably the donuts over the eggs. The donuts. Yeah, donuts as well. No. <laughs> did it yesterday morning. I didn't have no donuts yesterday. What about the day before? I don't be eating sweets like that. I don't eat sweets like that. <laughs> like if, it, if it was jelly fill, he definitely did. Yeah. Jelly donuts are good, and you guys don't have refined palates. I don't care. It's not real jelly. Definitely not real, and I still enjoy a good slam. I need a booster seat. Hold. I don't know. I feel low, too. But I'm just going to deal with it. So, as I was saying. Let's start with Marcus and Greg. I'm just going to go all the way down, and then whoever wants to talk. Okay. So, Kevin ahead. has his new scripted show. Do they know the title? Can they, Can I say the title? Or we mm-hmm. keep the title. You can say it. Churchy. It's already been announced. Okay, great. Well, I didn't know if you was using like un, un no. untitled. I don't um, want to give people something that they, they want to go and find out. Melissa is uh in season two pre production 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 of Love on Stage. I actually have people that I know sending me messages that are have submitted themselves. In Atlanta? Uh yeah, there's somebody that I need to actually hit up. It's a Sara. Of mine. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> One of the Sarah. Sarah, who hit me up, DM me, was like, I, I'm submitting myself for it. If you don't mind, can we talk real quick? Like, I guess she's just trying to make sure, like, the process is something. If she does it, like, that she would be good at. Um, 
I'm getting ready to go off for my pilot. And then Marcus and Goose just started Let Us Tell It. Let Us Tell It, our podcast. Their podcast. So who want to talk about their production, how things are going, how how's life, how stressful? Because if you don't seem as, like, stressed as you were your first season. Are you, like, easy, breezy, beautiful because you didn't already had an extremely successful season? Um, I think I have um, – had to focus on other things that I haven't had time to stress about it yet. Right. Uh-huh. Um, I also think because the men this season that we've narrowed them down so far have been phenomenal mm. uh-huh. that I'm a little bit less stressed as well. That's what your your first episode, I mean, your first season. Yeah. First of all, that first season going to produce babies. Oh, ah, ain't that something? Uh, grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Let's over here starting generations. That's, that, yeah, that's crazy. That, it Somebody's actually doing this a, because of you. Uh, hello? It actually adds a, add a oh. layer of a, a little stress for this season. Mm, cause it's because like, oh, it's big, yeah, that. because of, it's like your first album coming out and it going like mm. diamond or whatever. And you're Good like, analogy. Oh, no, how do I <laughs> beat that? Um, so we kind of went a different direction. Uh-huh. Um, so that way it kind of takes that pressure off. But I also think like the guys are really, really like, mm-hmm. they about their business. The men this mm-hmm. season about their business. Is that an Android? No. Um, that's right. And so the men are about their business. Mm-hmm. And the women always come. Yeah, I'm not worried about the women. Women is always easy. They always come up. No problem. They pull up good, 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 good. Good, good, clean. Uh, but the, the 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 men that we got, I'm just really, 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 really happy with so far. So I'm um, excited. If somebody asked, what happened to Walter and Cheryl? Uh, we will have an update for you <laughs> that will be dropping very, very soon. Oh, so be on the lookout. So be on the lookout for that. It's already shot. It's already edited, actually. We just got to find the right time to mm. plug it. I can't wait. I mean, people were so invested. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were so invested. Is there any other way that you feel like you've... Is there any other thing that you've changed that you feel like that, like, from season one, that you're like, okay, I learned my lesson. This is what I'm... Or, Okay, this is a good take takeaway. I'm gonna do this instead. Um, one of the biggest lessons that I, it, I maybe I'll answer your question. Maybe I'll ask, answer a different one. Mm-hmm. So forgive me. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my biggest lessons in the show, and just here recently, I just told Kevin this: trust your mm-hmm. gut. Tell Come him, on. Melissa. Mm-hmm. Come Talk on, Melissa. It. Can't say it, it enough. Say it, it, say it again it, for the people in Trust the back. your mm-hmm. gut. It has been my biggest lesson in life. And the show was another just like, okay, girl, how many times you gonna <laughs> fail this test before you realize? So what I've been doing recently is even, and the problem for me is that I don't always trust it. Um, obviously, trust your gut, but I don't always trust it. And so the lack of trust actually breeds like a lack of confidence uh-huh. mm-hmm. in the word. And so you end up shying away from it or not saying it or you doubt it or whatever. That's how it comes across, at least for me. Mm-hmm. And so what I've been doing lately is like, even with Kev, like right or wrong, I just want to throw this out here. Mm-hmm. So that way, if it does happen, I can remind myself I said it. Mm-hmm. And that's and it be happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There have been a few times Olivia here Liz. recently where I have said something just on some straight up like, I just kind of feel this in my spirit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just say it so that way if it happens, I at least can say you said it. Da da da. You know, and it happened, and it and it's building my confidence, right. and therefore it's allowing me to trust mm-hmm. my gut a little bit more. Yeah. So that has been above head and shoulders above anything else. Mm-hmm. Always trust your gut. And last thing is, come on, give it to us. Film everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Film everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. You got. You should film everything. If you're doing a production, uh huh. Absolutely. And you're trying to have a little private conversation because you're trying to tell somebody, like, you know, this is just me to you, you to me. I'm trying to be out here, whatever, because I don't want y'all to know who I'm talking about. Uh, so well, you know what I'm gonna do? Turn off the camera. Let's just talk. But then when people show they wrong. You ain't got the sound. evidence you got that, sound that you was over here trying to not. Now you don't win but also, run. making love on stage is a whole nother series. What you mean? What when you, you film everything. The scenes oh, the heck movie. no. Although you <laughs> porn, like making love. No, 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 no. no. Melissa said, I don't need, she said, I don't need, to, I don't need them to see mm-hmm. that part. Oh. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. no, like uh, Married at First Sight does. When uh, uh, Alisa, Alicia, Ali- what's her name? 
What's the girl? Oh, uh, Alyssa. Alyssa was showing her ass. Trash queen. Leave them we cameras on. She has surpassed everybody, mm-hmm. first of all. She <laughs> thought she went over there across the street. And the cameras wasn't rolling. They had that I, I see why production leaves the camera on. Mm-hmm. I and see why on. they leave the mic on. They got a switch for that red light that I, don't turn the I, camera on. I understand. On. Stop. <laughs> turn it off. I understand. Because <laughs> folks be lying. Oh, yeah. And so you always want to be able to say, you know, with the quick rewind, this is mm. what actually have. Let me remind you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I hope, listen, I thought first season was absolutely perfection. The only note I had told Melissa was, please stand up so we can see your yeah. outfits. Mm-hmm. Because I, I don't know if y'all thing. noticed. I mean, y'all might have been so enthralled in the relationships. I was like, and another one. <laughs> and another one. At Melissa's full oh, on man, she look. Was killing it. Yes. And I was like, we ain't even seeing the bottom half, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. That's not fair. Not That's fair. like making an apple pie and being like, well, you can't have none, but you can smell it from here. Mm-hmm. You got to show the whole outfit. See, you get the analogy now. That was a good one. I was pulling out. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Remember I told you I go through the work. If you ain't going to eat the cookies. <laughs> Why go through all that getting all done up and then can't nobody see all of that? You know Ooh. what I'm saying? You got the shoes. What's like your sad tank, Silly? No. The Rangers are. No, that was not what yeah. I was saying. Yeah, that's what I said. It's like baking cookies and throwing them out. No, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, we going to come back to you, Melissa, because you I'm are done. producing something else. But let's go ahead and skip on over to uh, to Tank. Marcus mm-hmm. Anthony? Mm-hmm. What's happening? Marcus Anthony? What's happening? <laughs> so how is it feeling? Marcus is taking a lot of, uh, if y'all don't know, behind the scenes, Marcus is taking so much ownership. They have built a set for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Man. To get to the point that they got to uh, yesterday. It, so the first episode dropped today, but the Patreon got it yesterday, the mm-hmm. unedited version. How are you feeling now that this idea you and Goose have been talking about for a year is finally there here? There ain't been no year. First of all, y'all can quit throwing shade. I ain't never throwing shade, you, you and your gaseous cousin over there. Both of y'all can shut up. All I, I said was if you don't have gaseous too. Oh. Uh, hey, well, shut up. We didn't uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'm talking. You don't talked enough. I oh. like these men. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I didn't know. Nah, um, no, it feels good. It, we finally got that uh, the first episode up. It's over on Tanksley TV on YouTube. Tanksley TV, TV. YouTube.com. I, I subscribe today. Thank you. Make sure y'all go over and subscribe. Channel. Yeah, that's for my car reviews, the podcasts, the sketches. I'm going to end up going over there. What am I doing? It is, uh, it's, it's not it's just YouTube. his channel. We be putting. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. The sketches is no, like. You always got to take ownership. Anyway, um, <laughs> now, uh, make sure you, now, first and foremost, make sure y'all go over it. Because if that podcast grows, we can do more with the more follow the bigger following we have. But, uh, so, yeah, you, me Marcus, and Goose, wait, we got it up. Wait, Tanksley TV? Yeah, uh-huh. TV on YouTube. Uh, backslash YouTube Marcus Beard. He's horrible. What a waste uh, of your ability working down at that job. Anyway. Um, no, nah. let me talk about this yeah, podcast. Hold on, I want to say something. I'm See, this is why it. I was talking over Greg because no. I've been podcasting with no, you for so long. Oh, Marcus, you, want, you. No, you want to talk about talking no, over? I was talking over. No, Greg, Marcus, though, you want to talk about talking over? How <laughs> about I shot all them askers, talked over every guest for a full <laughs> season, for forty episodes, <laughs> then start releasing them, and then find out I talked over people. <laughs> I have eighty-eight episodes oh now. There God. is nothing I can do about it. Oh, they shoot. were saying it in every, Cam, it ain't about you. And I was like, man, I can't do nothing. <laughs> I said, I told Marcus, I said, you're going to have to eat that like Kevin List did. I said it man. was, because Marcus was like, I'm going to put a comment. So I they know did. I got the message. I said, Marcus, it don't let him, let them tell you. You're going to have to. You. I heard the first person. The next 17 don't need to say it. Now no, watch that happen. It. Imagine that happen for a year straight. <laughs> He said, I shot all of them. Every video, Marcus, for a dog on you. And then posted it. Like, hold on, wait. I was awful. I said, hey, Marcus, how are you? You are good, aren't you? You're doing great. You have children? And four, isn't it? Marcus, no, so, Kai, Sai, and so, Yeah, so like Greg is like me doing me and Angel's podcast for the first time. Uh, and I'm now me. After been doing this for yep. over seven yep. years. Yep. So yep. It's, so like Greg is to, you know, he was like, yeah, so uh, so he apologized. I'm like, you know what? You right. You know, <laughs> you jump in full comedy. Yeah, because also I'm not used to, because uh, one thing Angel has trained me on is don't have dead space because people are listening. It's a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you feel all that space. But anyway, it was good. It was actually a really good episode. 
Oh, we plan on going for like 30 minutes. It ended up being close to an hour. It was 49. <laughs> Kev went over for real. I went over to Texas TV. I'm jumping in my friend's YouTube. Oh. <laughs> you lucky you can't give no money on the subscribe. Stop it. I want Stop me it, a, Kevin. a badge or a banner. Oh, we're already using a space that you pay for, so it's cool. Yeah, uh, I know. No. Thank God for this space. I want to separate Thank myself God from the, the other people. <laughs> Have an no. office that they don't even use. We be, we be in here. We be in here with y'all. Yeah, right there. What y'all, <laughs> right. what y'all doing it though? Y'all, y'all, I'll go over it with y'all if y'all going over there. Right. Right. <laughs> and I still be talking over people. <laughs> <laughs> on the ball, the beautiful. I can't win. It's either Kev too quiet, he ain't interested, or he excited, he talking too much. That's the thing. You, you only excited. have extremes. You only have hot and cold. There is a warmth. But the thing that is, is, Marcus is when you comfortable talking to friends, that's just what it is. That's how we talk in conversation. I actually agree with that. That's the problem. That's what I didn't learn yeah. about talking over people. I forgot we are making a show. Yeah. And that's I was like, thing. here's the cameras. Forget that. Yeah, you ain't Oprah. Or you ain't sitting. Boy. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, no, we it's come, I'm not it's interviewing you. I'm talking thing. to you. Yeah, yeah really is. that's the difference. Marcus, a, that's it. I wasn't interviewing people. I was talking to them. Yeah. So I'm coming to the stage. I'll be like, question. Shut up, Kevin. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Listen. Nah. Listen. Nah. Yeah, hey, now. Kevin. I try to even nah. do feedback without talking. I just nah, but Kev, <laughs> back to Let Us Tell It. That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> nah, it's like, Kev, nah. <laughs> nah, it's called Let Us Tell It. Um, I see it going a long way. We've had quite. We've had a few people who was like, hey, I want to be on there. I was like, for real? So people are excited to come on. So make sure y'all go check people it out. It feels friends. good. Marcus is super. This is what Marcus looks like when he's excited to do something. And I had to get on him Man, at one point in time. I was like, you see all this excitement and zeal you have for you? And this is before they had ever shot anything. I was like, I need you to bring that back to our podcast. Come on. And what? give me that experience. Ooh, ooh, is that, is, have you experienced that? Oh, I didn't say no words. I know, but it, uh, hit a, what is it called? Hit a dog holler? Oh, is that the quote? It sound like it, huh? <laughs> I just made that shit up. No, it ain't. No, no that is the quote. I when a I dog get it. hit, it holler. It's like you throw a rock in a crowd of dogs. The ones that hollers is the one that got hit. That's a very long You talking about saying. hit a dog holler? Ain't nobody heard that before. No, no hit dog holler is absolutely no, a ain't common thing. Even, even, if it started, even if it started where you went, it should be what Angel said. <laughs> that actually probably <laughs> no, is how it's saying the, the slang originated. That, like that was a story. Of hit dog holler. Hit a dog holler. Come on. No, no. A hit dog hollers. Marcus, you already changed it to who's Jackie. He said, hit a dog holler. No, that's not what she said. That's what she said. A hit dog holler. Well, you, uh, you know that, what? That I holler when I have breakouts, and I have one coming on my chin, and it's pissing me off. That's why I'm so glad Apostrophe is sponsoring today's podcast episode of The Bald and the Beautiful. Apostrophe is a prescriptive skincare company that offers science-backed oral and topical medications that are clinically proven to help clear acne. Apostrophe connects you with a board-certified dermatologist who will create a personalized treatment plan that is perfectly tailored to your unique skin. You simply fill out Apostrophe's online quiz and your skincare goals and medical history. Then snap a few selfies and your dermatologist will create a customized plan. Apostrophe treats all types of acne, from hormonal acne to facial acne, even in chest knee, back knee, and butt knee. They treat breakouts from head to toe. And listen... I don't get a lot of acne on my face, but other parts of my body, acne be like, hey, how you doing, sis? We decided to party down here. And it's nice to know that you're able to get that treated without, I know for some people, I know for me, it's a little bit embarrassing, so I don't really want to have to go see a doctor face-to-face -to, -face to tell about acne that's showing up not on my face. So the fact that I'm able to use uh, apostrophe to treat those areas and it not only does that it uh, treats things like hyperpigmentation like uh, the dark spots that are sometimes left after you have a breakout um, which I know a lot of black women deal with and uh, it also improves skin texture and you know your skin is something that's like the first thing someone sees probably after your smile is your skin so having Skincare goals is important because you want to be able to feel, um, you want to feel confident in whatever room you walk into. And apostrophe is like, we got you. You ain't got to use no old wives tale. We're going to give you some actual medicine <laughs> that is scientifically and medically proven to help. So this is what we want you to do. We have a special deal for our audience. Save $15 off your first visit with the apostrophe provider at apostrophe.com. 
slash TBTB. TBTB. When you use our code TBTB. TBTB. This code is only for our listeners. To get started, go to apostrophe.com slash TBTB. TBTB. And click begin visit and then use our TBTB code at sign up and you'll get your first visit for only $5. That's A P O S T R O P H E dot com slash TBTB. Use that code TBTB to get your dermatologist crafted treatment plan for $5. And we thank Apostrophe for sponsoring the podcast. So, wait a minute. Back to you, Kevin. So, was that something that you had an issue with bringing the energy to other podcasts? Why are we going back? <laughs> she felt like it didn't have a period. Yeah, Why would didn't. you do that, Angel? Because I don't wish you well on your television show. Comma. Well, the, the fact of the matter is, is that it would have never been directed towards you, but you, you resounded like you, you were so loud when I made the comment. Some First of people, all, you yeah, go ahead, Marcus. No, I will no. go, Kevin. <laughs> Angel not, made not the, the comment. <laughs> Angel made the comment because I was coming over here to work on our set, and sh- we needed. Now, and one thing, she we did need to get everything started. Wow. We did need to get the wallpaper up and everything. <laughs> but I was working on this one. Yeah. It was like, well, as soon as you get our wallpaper done, if I was uh if I had long eyelashes, I don't know what that has to do with it. If I had long eyelashes, <laughs> would you do that for me? Because I was over here, me and Greg was working on it. Yeah. So I came over here and did the wallpaper. That's she right. acted like the wallpaper was the thing holding up us coming over here, and it mm-hmm. wasn't. Mm-hmm. But no, that's oh, hold on, let me tell you. Oh, Marcus, now they're double two. No, 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 I'm about no. to help Marcus. <laughs> Marcus, you you had it out. The Bible says that <laughs> no. God will give you Marcus a way of escape. Of it, what you over there getting jumped? No, 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 because that's why I got brought Marcus up. Marcus said, why don't, bring, "Why don't you bring escape? that energy over here?" No, no, I'm running back into no, my no, house. Because, because, because the excitement, the excitement for our podcast. No, no, the excitement for our podcast never left. Okay. The excitement for that podcast, yes, was there, but the excitement that she was talking about wasn't excitement, less no, lack of excitement for our podcast. Yes, it, was, it was. I need you to go over and get no. that wallpaper up because no. we're waiting on you. You're no. not waiting on me. Marcus, that's not. I Marcus. love you, that's Marcus. Your you just. Marcus, I'll jump in the bullet for you, too. No, 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 no I would. No, you that's what it is. Mic. You should have No, no because the, the subject was set, but I was the foundation of the subject. <laughs> oh, well, Ted, you did what he did. Oh, no, no, no. no. What we ain't about to do, damn it. But you are because incorrect. Because that was a false statement. You are incorrect. That was a false statement. No, I, that's I, what I meant is what I said. I know. That's I, what you meant and that's what you said, but it's I'll false. i on no. you, Kevin. I'm busy. <laughs> What did you do that though, Kevin? Yes, okay. Yes. Mm. Mm. There are episodes of the Love Hour mm. where I was less than interested. Mm. There are episodes of the Love Hour while I fell asleep. Mm. There are episodes of the <laughs> wow. Love Hour where I was quiet. <laughs> okay. Mm-mm. This is not something that's happened on other podcasts that I've done. Mm. Name well, me here's the thing. You've done that on TBTB. I, well, oh, yeah, yes. we are the this new the, love hour oh, the, yes. <laughs> for him. It's the podcast that I love. I do like it every <laughs> time I want to do it. Uh, have I had dreams of booking a Transformer film that shoots three <laughs> three time zones away so I can't be on Bond of the Beautiful? Yes. Oh, it's not going to happen. I want to book a movie that shoots in Dubai. And we'll so. be there. <laughs> we'll come to you. Cam, what they paying you? They got podcasts stuff over the Dubai? <laughs> we can bring equipment. Josh, you ready? <laughs> you be coming over to the Dubai. <laughs> right. Josh will be uh, there with lights. So yeah. We'll just use the sun. It's pretty good out here. <laughs> Josh will be walking on the 405. Josh, you have a car. I'm going to just take it down. I'm going to just walk down along the side. <laughs> so, yes, okay? I, I wish I could play it back and do it different, but it's the truth. Mm, mm, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff, actually, on. that I do in my life that I don't want to do, and I'm working on saying no to that. I did it the other week. Somebody offered me something, and I was like, no. And no is a complete sentence. That is amazing. Unless somebody's asking if you want to do the bottom beautiful, then it do not nobody they cares if you want to do it. It does not compute. This we do. <laughs> it is not something they teach on Babel. We do not understand what you're saying <laughs> at all. What? You said huh? Say no is at the forefront of everything before it comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Could you help me out? No. Oh, wait. What, what were you asking? <laughs> oh no, this is your idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so Kevin. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, but there Marcus wasn't one. done. No, let's I mean, with that. I done lost track. Y'all done, done ran off. I got my first brand deal. Yeah, I can talk about, I got my talk first about brand it. Talk about it, Marcus. Like for real, brand deal. I was like, oh, no y'all, connection y'all, to Angel. None. Get her out of here. Him. I was like, oh, that, y'all, they for real. Like, 
this ain't no change either. I was like, oh. I'm telling you, Marcus, that <laughs> uh, Melissa was talking about this me about me old Kevin. Micro influencers, <laughs> a lot of times company love them because their engagement be legit. Mm-hmm. They might only have 10,000 or 20,000, but them 20,000 hey, really hey. be real. Almost 50. I'm at 40. Yeah, or 50. I got hey. You go on my hey, comments God. when I post a picture. It's 7,000 bots. <laughs> DM me for spells, <laughs> sex. I'll be like, man, where are nah, the people like? <laughs> I'm, yes. <laughs> no, Why are people the, watching my stories and holding themselves? Nah, Why no, do y'all get the, to the it's no? The buy, so, uh, I saved or I, I yeah. uh, no. saved a bunch of money. Though. The yeah. worst <laughs> ones, those ones I be knowing. The worst ones to me are the ones that say "Praise the Lord" because I always think they're real. Yeah. Oh, you're like yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh. Yolanda has helped me with my taxes yeah. and Bitcoin. <laughs> You like, God, dog, you done got me again. I got on churchy bot. You right. thought it was a testimony. You know what? It's been a long time since I've seen a bot. I think they got annoyed at me. Oh, they coming. For Marcus responding. was in there yeah, arguing with, with, with computer oh, yeah. programs, knowing oh. they're a computer program. <laughs> he could not resist. Yeah. You're all here to be a shut up. <laughs> <laughs> One of the robots were like, this yeah. man is Somebody crazy. on my Facebook. A matter of fact, a bot was in my Facebook. But anyway, she was like, uh, what made you decide to respond to me? I was like, oh, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> Po po thing. Oh, thing. <laughs> Listen, the bots be crazy in my lives. There was like a hundred bots, and I say I don't How know. Did they even get in the line? And I get the. If you have a lot of activity, ones. the bots be like, "Oh snap! This is the place to be, guys. Let's meet up over here." And I get the foreign ones, and I was telling, I don't, I don't think they're all Arabic. I call it the baby hair uh, script because you know it's that pretty. <laughs> Is that pretty boo yeah. boo boo? And I'd be like, that's the ones. I don't ever get the any other type. It always is the baby here. When I did the YouTube with the Instagram person who like uh, runs oh, Instagram, yeah. mm-hmm. it was ninety nine percent bots. Jeez, it was just bots were just like Brazil, Brazil. <laughs> yeah. The flags, I do get a lot of flags. I'd be like, what does this mean? Dog, Mark, do you see up. these bots? Like, look at this. It really does for me. I it it really makes the Instagram experience terrible. Yeah, it does. Because yeah. I be thinking like it'd be going on and it'd be a lot of five thousand CTCs here. It's it's stupid. It is anyway. It is so stupid. But um I'm proud of you guys, Marcus. You and great. Greg. It's, Thank you. Because that is like starting a podcast, no matter how many you do, starting your own thing, it's it's tough. And you start y'all starting from ground zero as yeah. far as the podcast goes. Like yeah. y'all throwing it out there and being like, All right. We're going like, to build this. Yeah. And the set design looks really good. It Thank represents you, you guys it. really well. It does Thank represent you. y'all well. We feel Is that real whiskey in there? Mm-hmm. It's a real whiskey barrel. It still smells like whiskey. No, he's no, what's about in, in the glass. Oh, yeah. Okay, I about to have a, I was going to have a you drink. Have some? But I didn't know if it was apple juice or tea or something. No, it's called. real. That's legit. I'm going to sip right. on that. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus shot his brand deal yesterday and I think you did so good. Thank you. It's going to be a good, good-looking brand deal. Oh, I, I was it. like, I said, no, this is, this is all and Y'all make sure y'all go over link, and do Marcus. what you're supposed to do. I'm going to click your you link. Click the click, link. I click <laughs> all links. I'm going to click your link, and I'm going to download it. Whatever <laughs> I got to do, it's going to be done. I'm a t- yeah. This is my theory, because I know some people don't like clicking links or they think it's bad or whatever. This is I how I really think about it. This is really to encourage people, like, if you're a supporter, mm-hmm. that – the brand, if you buy something from the brand, click the link and not buy, fine. But if you go like, oh, I saw Angel promote this, but I'm going to go outside of the Instagram app, still go to it and buy whatever Angel told me to buy. What you're actually doing is supporting the brand without supporting the person that hip you to the brand. Mm-hmm. All you're really giving them is an opportunity to receive a commission that costs you nothing. Yeah. But it's simply telling the brand, I found out about you yeah. because Angel posted about you. Yeah. And even that's, if you don't buy it. Even if you don't buy it. And so that's why I'm always an avid, click the link, you tell mm-hmm. me to swipe up, I'm doing whatever it is I got to do. Yep. But if you end up and you really do like the thing, please don't be that person right. that'll go outside of the app to purposely not give the person that you say you support mm-hmm. that costs you nothing to support right the recognition that they you know should get and that is to simply tell the brand yes i know about you and i'm buying this and i'm doing it because of this person because all they're going to do is be women products i click all links oh man i click the flex cup me too oh i got got a subscription because that (laughs) is literally that's our biggest job like Content creator side is for us to create content influencer side is to influence you to click the link now, the conversion is up to the product being good enough exactly. for you to want. So you clicking the link is letting them know that we're actually doing our job 
of being an actual influencer. And if so. you don't click the link and you go search it on Google, they're just they're just not paying Marcus or Angel or me or Liz mm -hmm. and paying Google instead right. because they so, pay to be higher on the so search yeah. rankings or right. they're paid media marketing. So you're not like helping the brand. Right. You're just hurting the the poor little blacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty, 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 pretty much. Um, so, yes, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very proud of you, Marco. You're, you're coming up on your, look at yeah. this. You're coming up on your year off mm -hmm. of regular work. When's that anniversary? May something? Uh, May 27th. May 27th. We should do a celebrate. Yes. You know what's crazy? Is that Angel? Yeah, let's celebrate. You know what's crazy? Is the <laughs> what's crazy when I was leaving that job? The trouble that the president had to go through to get the bank to believe to know that I had been there for an extended amount of time and not from the point of my promotion mm. or transition in that company. Mm -hmm. And literally after he went through all that, because we had to get approved for this house, this uh <laughs> a month later I was like, all right, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, God dang it. <laughs> you got everything you needed. Yeah, that was in April. We got the house in April and then uh May I was like, all right. <laughs> appreciate appreciate y'all. <laughs> he them, was them, on vacation. Them docs closed. <laughs> Really? He asked the phone. I heard Bert. I was like, hey, uh, are you busy? He said, no, what's up? We sitting there talking. I'm explaining. He was like, all right, as soon as I get back to the hotel, I was like, he said, yeah, me and the family on vacation. I was like, oh, my God. Is that when you told him you quit? You're a swell guy. No, nah, I just needed him to uh, send over an email. To the <laughs> I'll be calling you back in a little bit, though, after this. <laughs> well, y'all already know one of the things That's that we've been funny, using man. in our family like crazy is HelloFresh. Uh, we have been cooking meals left and right mm -hmm. because... I don't have the capability to think about anything extra, like creating a wonderful menu for my kids and fresh vegetables. HelloFresh said, girl, we got you. Don't worry about it. With my HelloFresh subscription, okay, first of all, it's America's number one meal kit. I am able to get farm fresh produce that arrives to my door within a week. I'm able to decide which day I want it on. I can Skip a week if I have to because we're going out of town or if um, my schedule is super busy and I know I won't be able to cook. But the best part is I can skip going to the grocery store, saving me so much time, okay? And I also stop from wasting such excess food because I'm only getting what I need to create the meal. We are currently on the pescatarian plan, so we it assures us that we're only getting meals that we'll eat. So those are meals that only have uh, Wait, fish. y'all are eating chicken? We do eat chicken, but we just don't get that from HelloFresh. Um, it allows us to make sure we're not getting beef or pork. Mm -hmm. Got it. I told them no beef or pork. Thank you. Appreciate it. I didn't tell them no chicken, though. That's why. I asked. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we, we, we still serves up chicken. And okay. what's great is that you can switch out the protein. So if there's a recipe that you really like that you're seeing is upcoming, but maybe it has a meat that you don't like, you can click to switch the protein and get, like, so if it calls for ground beef, you can change it to ground turkey. Um, HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than a restaurant of the same meal quality, and you save on average $65 a month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. We save so much more than that. I can tell you that right now. We got four boys, so we're saving a lot. And that money goes back into our pocket. They offer 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including veggies, fit and fresh, uh, excuse me, fit and wholesome, family-friendly, and gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. Uh, again, we just love using it. The meals come together in about 30 minutes. My kids always help me. They get excited once to either choose what we're going to have or help me get the produce ready. Um, so go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB16. TBTB16. And use code TBTB16. TBTB16. Up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Again, that's HelloFresh. Dot com slash TBTB16. TB! And use code TBTB16 TB for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Hello Fresh, America's number one meal kit. And after you get your body right, make sure you get your mind right. This podcast episode is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. So, this month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you that you matter as much as everyone else does. And therapy is a great way to make sure you show up for yourself. Uh, a lot of us hold very important positions in our families, whether we are a spouse, whether we're a parent, or whether we're a child helping to care for our actual parent. We give to so many people, but I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot pour from an empty vessel, right? You have to 
or back into yourselves. And therapy is a great way to do that. Having a professional, certified therapist to be able to talk to, to be able to go through the things that you're feeling, get your thoughts clear, really clarify the actions that you want to have happen in your life, really clarify how you view yourself and the relationships that you have, those that are actually benefiting you and those that you might want to pull back on or cut off because they're toxic. And having an unbiased professional opinion is where you're able to get those clear answers. I know we all have friends and family that we confide in and that we use their advice, but there comes a day and there comes a time where you're going to want somebody that is really there for your best interest and nothing more. And um, BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to go um, anywhere or see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's more affordable than in-person therapy. You're matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and the bald and the beautiful listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash TBTB. TBTB. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash TBTB. TBTB. Churchy is in pre-production. It's coming in hot. You coming in hot. are almost completely done with casting. You're doing location scouting. Kevin, how are you feeling as the clock ticks down to the first day that you hear Action. Uh, I would say moderately excited to stressed. Um, moderately excited and I mean not moderately excited and moderately stressed. Uh, I wouldn't say it's all bad stress. It's just you know when you have a lot of money and I mean like traditional Hollywood, you have plenty of money and plenty of people to do plenty of actually plenty of people to do uh one job. Mm-hmm. When you are small like me, Kevin, you have plenty of jobs to little people. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I'm acting in this show. Yeah, you are. The lead. Hey. Kev. Hey. Stop. The lead. (laughs) Hey, zoom in on him. (laughs) Zoom in on him right here. Uh, The acting is, is... Probably the easiest part. Not that acting is easy, but, but yeah, that it's is a very straightforward thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. producing um, is a little more difficult. Mm-hmm. Finding locations, learning as I go is probably the most. I have never done anything that I produce that has any of SAG's rules. Mm-hmm. So finding out that a person who is SAG needs a dressing room, and therefore, if you are shooting in, let's say, a restaurant. And they don't have a room for a dressing room. You have to, uh, what was something called that you'd be sitting in? Uh, just, uh honey, honey trailers, trailers, uh-huh. honey wagon. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to rent those and find a place to park those. And if you shoot at your house that you own, you still have to get a permit mm-hmm. in case Karens want to call the television on. You, I mean, the police on you. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> but we learned so many lessons. Melissa yeah. been helping me uh, with cast and agents and stuff. We begin emails like, hey, you got a call today at three, don't you? You have a call today at three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but one thing that's also good, I don't want to make it all negative. <clears throat> I can definitely say that black people, and I'm not saying we say this, we, this group, or even the stage crew, but black people, we often talk about we don't help each other. And this has not been the case for me. I was talking to a guy, a friend of mine, I was telling him just kind of by happenstance, I was trying to get a sync license for a song. I actually learned about sync license, mechanical license. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. Learned loopholes and also where there is no loopholes Uh and you're going to get that money. Um, And I was telling him, this this songwriter was giving me the sync, no problem, but the label has to approve it. Mm -hmm. And that was taking longer. We were meeting, man. He called the label exec. At yeah. the breakfast dinner we had, and was like, hey, my friend Kev is trying to sync this song. Don't you own this label and this artist is under you? They're like, the, the person was like, oh, yeah, I heard about that. I sent it through legal because I didn't know. And legal just takes a long time. Yeah. She was like, that's your friend? Okay, it's approved. And he was like, I'll send you an MOU via email. They were like, go ahead and use it. We'll square it away, no problem. Friends letting me sync things for free. Great friends. Uh-huh. And this is how they butter their bread. Yeah. You know, that's your favorite one. Uh, that's what I was about to say. Oh, that's absolutely. what this is called. It's favorite. You know, the, you know I, 
you, oh man. You know how many times you hear we don't usually do this? That's man. Like, I know you don't, but this man, is man. And I'm favored. We've been getting a favor ain't fair. We've been getting a lot of we don't usually do this. Or for you, Kev, like actors and producers and people being like, don't even worry about charging me. Unfortunately, this is like your favorite part of the breakup. This would be a situation where I would waive my fee. <laughs> you know, but unfortunately, <laughs> company policy says I can't, I can't waive it. Right. So I have actors being like, you don't have to pay me. But SAG is like, no, you do have to. Yeah, you, you, you better. Have to pay and then, yeah, they're they like, giving money back to you. Right. <clears throat> but you're going to pay them and they're going to pay us. Right. So I had to learn that. I was like, you can't even waive it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Company policy says no can't do that. We can't waive <laughs> any of our rights at all. No, and you can't even, this is what I learned that was even crazier. Shooting a church scene, I was telling the producer with confidence, oh man, stage crew, I could fill this church. 10, 15 extras, no problem. He was like, yeah, but the first 10 have to be SAG rates. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? The 11th can be free. Mm -hmm. But that first 10, even if they are your friends, yeah. you still got to pay them. Got to pay. Mm -hmm. Or you can't use no SAG people. SAG is the I would just sneak on set. SAG just, is a it is a mob thing, and they will shut your yeah. production down. Yes. I would just sneak on set and just not let you know that I'm an extra, so you won't have to pay for me. No, you won't. Yeah, mm -hmm. gonna say you gonna mess up everything. Oh, okay, I can't do that. Even yeah. actors who want to help you are like, cannot go against SAG because <laughs> no. you'll mess up their money for other stuff. Yeah, right. So, yeah, that's how they butter their bread. So some of these things you just you there's a lot of things I'm learning the hard way. But the next time it won't be the hard way. Right. You, already you know what I mean? Know so, um, but it's very exciting. <clears throat> if nothing else, because at first I was like, what if it's not good? What if this? What if whatever? And I just, now it's more like no matter what it is or isn't, it will be done. Come on. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> there's a lot of excitement about it because this is one of the shows, but probably the main one that I was pitching mm -hmm. and white people were telling me nah. black folks won't like this. And I was like, how would you know? This is literally the story of, I can name you seven people that this story is or about or has happened. A lot of the storylines have happened to me when I was young boy, pastor boy, or I heard about in the church or whatever. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm not letting that be my driving factor. It's just really exciting to be able to make something that you love. I actually saw Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti today was talking about mm -hmm. how rappers want to be bosses and run their own label. And he was like, most rappers won't won't even bet on themselves. Uh -huh. If they had a million dollars, this is what he said. If they had a million dollars, but their album cost nine hundred fifty thousand. They would not pay for their own album. Yeah. They wouldn't even bet on themselves the way they want the label to bet on them. And I was like, I'm not most people. I will. Mm -hmm. I might not do it if I had a million nine fifty, but I'd do it for like a hundred thousand if I had a million because <laughs> I can't bet my baby's you know right. college fund on it. Yeah, but you know their first car can go. Mm. You know, they could do that. <laughs> they, we could do that. We could do so, that. So, yeah, I have a lot of friends helping, a lot of favors being granted. And that also feels good because, you know, I'd be granting favors yeah. and never asking mm -hmm. to have them returned. But this is my returning season. Mm -hmm. Come on. Hey, remember the three things I did? Come on, call, call it all in. Back. Call I it all in. one. Mm -hmm. The book and this. That's all I'm focused on this whole year. Marriage be hard. Available everywhere. <laughs> Pre-order now. Yeah. Pre-order Pre now. now so we can show them. We want to be on the New York Times bestseller list. Come on. What y'all going to do to celebrate when that happens? No. Go to the Maldives. I want to relax. In the Maldives. <laughs> Maldives? Maldives. 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 See, that's how poor we are. I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm going down <laughs> to the Maldives. I would have thought it was. <laughs> I would have been like Maldives. That's Maldives. what I. It's Maldives. Maldives. Bora, Bora, the Spanish coast. Uh, whatever that there, there's a place in Italy that has a beach on it. Oh man, I forgot what it's called, but it looked nice. Santorini, Greece. Oh. I'm gonna be with my shirt off and my crack out just a little bit. With your crack also, out, got my crack out right now. Yeah, we know. Melissa, you got love and hip hop nails. These are nails that oh, are coming no. for you. Is this for? Is this for the Oscars? It is for the Oscars. Uh, I how still can't believe that's a real sentence. I was a uh, telling Brisha. She said that's right. <laughs> Because that's where they're supposed to be. Doors open. Doors <laughs> open. I was like, yes, girl. We should Doors be turning open. 75. That's my friend. She about the oldest, youngest person. <laughs> and she quick to call me old. I'm like, but, but Bree should. And she's <laughs> younger than, than, than you, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. She was 20, 26? Hell no. Nah. Listen, she'd be like, <laughs> She got yes, a 26-year-old. She would be like, she'd be like, what you need me to do in your show? Just for that. <laughs> Just for saying that. What's your favorite thing about... Uh, Producing, what's been your favorite thing about producing the show? 
Oh, I thought yeah, she, she looked dead at me after this. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I would say, what's your favorite thing about producing the show? Uh, I would say, uh, outside of control, because you know, old Kevin loved to be able to say mm-hmm. yeah and nay. Uh, outside of that, I think it's uh, giving opportunities to people that's their first chance at an opportunity that big. Mm. Like your first series regular, your first chance to direct a series, your first chance to act, mm-hmm. first chance to edit something that, you know what I mean? Music supervised, all that stuff is why, that's how I get out of bed. It makes me very excited to give people those opportunities. Um, uh, yeah, I feel like that's the most exciting. And honestly, to be able to make something that you dreamt about for a long time or tried to make for a long, for just me, Kevin. Uh-huh. Thought about, dreamt about, wanted to see, and this is just gratefully nobody had done a show like this yet. And I hope it becomes like the office for Parks and Rec and community because, you know, more churchy black content. Uh, mm-hmm. But I feel like that's the best part is being able to, and also be able to put money in black folks' pocket is always, always great. We got black folks everywhere. You do. I mean, black CPA production account. Black woman production account. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, everything be blackity black, black, except for like Tony and <laughs> Silas. <laughs> and they it's just hard be, in LA. They just well, be there. Just yeah. Say. In Atlanta, they can find some black people in oh, LA. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit harder. A little bit yeah. harder. And, they, and it ain't because it, it's not a lot of us, but that's part of it. It's because the ones who are here are good and booked. They're working. Yeah. And ever since white people were like, we're sorry, blacks, they have been getting booked left and right. Mm-hmm. Well, I can tell you right now, Dorsey May Moore is ready. Oh, yeah. She's coming in blazing. Coming in high! Oh, yeah. She done brought, she's got about 50 church hats on their way, about 100 uh, church suits and dresses. So, I'm telling you. Where was you, she storing all these? In that big old house with all the all the closets were filled with her clothes. Yeah, <laughs> when I, this is probably a year after we were talking. Maybe not even a year. Angel's mom was moving. <laughs> she had two. Like when I say semi trucks, I'm t- I ain't talking about the truck that's got like the cab attached where it's all independent. Like you unhitch that and look load up another two semi trucks, beacons, like those tractor trailers. Oh my god! Okay, we go to the basement. I st- I start loading up the dolly. I'm thinking this is stuff that I'm like you've boxed up a lot of stuff. No, that stuff never got unpacked. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mama. She had been living in this house the front and had a she... basement full of stuff that was moved to the uh, basement full of stuff that was boxed up already from the previous move that hadn't even been opened. She just went down there and closed the door on the basement? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> mama said it is so. Come on. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it is so. <laughs> oh, but I'm she moving ready. stuff that never got opened from the last move. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. You know, them hats, at some point you're like, see this them, is enough to live. See, them hats right there between 85 and 89, <laughs> that style going to come back. <laughs> she got hats like you talk about GTO. Oh, hey. her hats are fire, though. Those are those are like, those are yeah. oh. authentic church oh. hats. They, they, they so can't show you the video? Oh. Yeah, Chevelle. Ha- yeah, that's the one you know. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey. <laughs> very, very Kojic. Chevelle. And we ain't even Kojic, but she was like, but you're going to look like it. We got going to look like it. Um, okay, so let me tell you about our last sponsor today, and they are Thrive Cosmetics. Um, as I always say, put your money where your heart is, and Thrive Cosmetics is a company where you can do that. They have a, their Better Than Beauty campaign where they, uh, with every purchase, they give to women that are thriving or trying to thrive. So women emerging from homelessness, surviving domestic abuse, fighting cancer, and more. So Thrive Cosmetics is a high-performance beauty and skincare um, production line with clean and skin-loving ingredients. They have no parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. They are certified 100% vegan and cruelty-free. And the cause in cosmetics is actually spelled cause, C-A-U-S-E. And it's for a reason. And like I said, it's because they believe that Life is bigger than beauty, and we have to pour into those who are less fortunate trying to make their way out. My favorite product is their Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. I use it all of the time. Y'all know I have the shortest real lashes ever, and I don't always want to wear eyelash strips because the glue will pull out your eyelashes, your real eyelashes, and it's just not that great for you. So being able to wear their mascara and then I'm able to completely easily remove it 
um, because it has a tubing formula that slides right off with warm water. You don't even have to use soap. You just use a washcloth. Excuse me. They also have a brightening skin, a sleep mask, and that is uh, also my jam. Anytime I wear a mask, I always like for it to be a brightening mask. I want to look like I'm glowing. Um, but they have a potent skin-loving formula that restores, hydrates, and rejuvenates your skin overnight. So this is what we want you to do. Now is a great time to, th- to try Thrive Cosmetics for yourself. Right now, you can get 15% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash TBTB. TBTB. That's Thrive Cosmetics. C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash TBTB. TBTB. For 15% off your first order. Oh, yeah. Um, what about you? You're not talking about nothing? I'm hey. about to talk. I yeah, want you we, to... Who, ask yourself yeah, the questions uh-huh. and then answer them. Wait a minute. I just want you to say <laughs> one more thing so I can tell Marcus something off uh, mic. Uh, so how many weeks are you doing production? How many weeks are you shooting? We're shooting for four weeks. We are starting April 18th and we're going till May 13th. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I really am. Now you ask yourself a question and answer it. I am super excited to go shoot this pilot. I was absolutely in my feelings when I thought I was going to be gone for a full month because I was not prepared to leave my family for that long. I didn't want to leave my family for that long. Um, I'm glad the days are shortened because my manager was on top of it. He was like, absolutely not. You got too many kids. We're not doing it. Um, but I am. I, I've, this week I've been talking to uh, all the department heads have been calling me. So I just oh, talked really? to mm, talk to hair. Mm-hmm. The department what head. What hair said? Well, the department uh, uh, head for hair is a black woman. That was hilarious. Was it? You thought it was By funny? By the end of it, Andrew had to be like, look, I am not that difficult. I promise I'm not this difficult. I just really appreciate my hair because it finally all grew back. <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 and I'm glad because, you know, <laughs> Hollywood has had a very, very bad habit of just not treating black women's hair right so I am very particular when I go on set. Typically, I've already done my hair, and I'm like, no, you cannot touch it. <laughs> you don't like it? Oh, this is the way it is. So uh, I'm getting, I bought a wig from Heat Free Hair that I don't know how it's going to look. Karen is actually dying it for me. Oh, I know her. I know you know her. And I got, she don't know that I'm about to bring her a ponytail, too, that I need her to die. <laughs> so I'm going to take that. We discuss how I wanted my character to look. Nice. It's, it's, that, it's, that part is fun. Talking to makeup, same thing. They were like, okay, what foundations do you like to wear? I was like, Giorgio Armani. Yeah, I was like, Pat, yeah, I was like some Pat McGrath. Yes. I would like those, please. Thank you. Nice. Um, so being at the level where they're like, so tell us. Mm-hmm. How would you like this? And I'm like, yes, let me tell you. How do you want it? Um, also, seeing the hotel that they're putting us in is nice. I was like, oh, well, Hilton Garden Inn? Huh? No, it's a. <laughs> I don't know who it's. The, it's not one that I have seen in like a chain oh, yeah. name. That's so how you do. That's how you know. That's that. Yes. Boutique. That's where they don't even want you to know who's staying here. Yeah, we got twelve rooms. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's nice. I looked at the picture. I said, oh, okay, I see you. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Um, and they fly me Delta first class. Hey, 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 hey. I was like, go ahead, put that on my um, Sky Mouse number so they smiles can track. Let me just slide it in. Go ahead and put that on the Um, so yeah, everybody is seems super excited to work. One of the um, one of the leads who I'm playing opposite of her, she's represented by the same manager as me. Oh, nice. And my manager was like, uh, she wanted to know, are you staying at the hotel or are you getting an Airbnb? Because she's bringing her whole family. Her husband is bringing her child, but her child is not even five, so he's not enrolled mm-hmm. in school. Yeah. So, so bring them on. Absolutely. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know, I'm not unenrolling my kids for me to shoot this pilot. They will be. And he was like, okay, she'll be so excited that you're staying at the hotel because she really wanted to get the t- chance to spend some time with you. And I was just like, oh, my God. Oh my god, this is so exciting! Like I can't even believe it. I don't even know. <laughs> um, uh, so when I get there on Sunday, they're having a little like hello meet and greet at the hotel for all of us to meet each other to kind of like you know because that's the weird thing about working in Hollywood is that 
you don't always have the same coworkers. Mm-hmm. Like you all, if y'all would have stayed at the bank or stayed at Boeing, mm-hmm. you all would have worked with people for like 20 years. Yeah. That is very rare in Hollywood. Like, you know, if a show is lucky, they'll get five to six seasons. Mm-hmm. Things like Grey's Anatomy are few and far between where you could have 17 years. And even still, the the main cast still switches up. Yeah, it's not it always the same person. Steve Carell left the office. Come on. He said, "I that was good. Mm, All right. I got other stuff I want to do. Right. So um, you all. Yeah, nah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> you all start off. God bless you. Bless you, Joshua. You start off as I strangers, but then you hope that you have a non-toxic environment, uh, working environment. That's what Kim and Kardashian people, said. Which no toxic work environments. Get off as your much ass. As, as much as I hate to bring it up. Okay, that, you want to come back to it? Oh, no, no, no. As much as I hate to bring it up, this, uh, that good work environment, as all the, all the <laughs> sets that Angel's been on, ER. I knew he was about to say it. Was a good it was, work environment? Oh, it was, it was amazing. The people, everybody. I'm talking about, Get I'm talking about directors, the PAs. Like By the time people got familiar with me, Everybody was Mikhail Pfeiffer, John Amazing. Stamos. Amazing. What's going on? Like the nicest, the nicest people. Everybody. It didn't matter how big they were. It was a how you doing? Hug it up. Nice. That's, that's the reason why I got, time, I got time to talk to you. That's the only reason why Man. me and Angela Bassett became cool is because Angela, that was the, the let environment. Me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you. The first time I met this lady. Where were we at? We was at a the- It was dark, I remember. And she had on the hat and the leggings and the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She was uh-huh. trying to stay covered up. And Angela was like, that's Angela Bassett. But we don't know if she won't be seen because we she's dressed like she's trying to be incognito. Like she yeah. don't want a whole lot of attention. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Full out conversation at the rap party. Oh, we chit chatted up. Me and Courtney sitting over there talking. I love it. Me and Angela taking it's pictures Courtney. together. That's her husband. husband. Oh, Courtney Vance. Steven Spielberg, we- executive producer. Had a nice long conversation with him. He executive produced ER? Yes, he did. How much money does he want? All of it. All of it. God, dog. Took a picture with us. I was like, oh, my God. I didn't even know he was in TV. That man was so nice. Everywhere he wants to be. Yeah, no. Back to Angela Bassett. (laughs) She's such a nice lady. Didn't you ride her car, Angela? No, she rode in my car. Marcus was heated. She was in that Toyota. Yes, he said. It was dirty? First of all, I would have quit my job to go hang out with Angela Bassett (laughs) for the day. Because they would just... Riding around, just lollygagging, having a good time. Bitch, why didn't you call me? <laughs> what you mean you were you Angela Bassett's house? In the back she's about to get my car. No, the I hell know. she's not getting I in your really car. I thought, she was like, well, girl, you got the baby. Ain't no need to move the car seat. I'll just ride with you. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I I was like, this car looked like it had been flipped inside out, (laughs) drove through the desert, and then put back together. It didn't look that bad, but it was loud. That muffler. (laughs) It wasn't a muffler. It was a transmission. Angel started up. (laughs) Put it in reverse. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I was like, oh no. (laughs) He ain't supposed to make all those sounds. She's talking about it was paying. She got 1,200 horsepower. (laughs) Shut up. It did. All the horses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not functioning. Oh, Marcus was, I called him as soon as she was like, Pissed. oh, girl, let me go grab my stuff. I'll just get in the car with you. I was like, okay. <laughs> you trying to buy a new car I'd have quick. been like, no. Hey, hey Range Rover, I just want to buy a car real, real quick. Real quick, let me test drive it. I'll bring it right back <laughs> after I finish with Angela. So um, did she get in your car? She, we rolled together. We went out to eat. Then we went shopping. Then we came back to our house to kick it in my car. Meanwhile. I'm at work wasting talent, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> Just wasting talent. <laughs> Just wasting Just talent. Just wasting it away. <laughs> she was like, girl, let me show you where I shop, girl. She's like, I get stuff from here all the time. And I was like, oh, my gosh. She, does she not see I'm in a Corolla? I don't have any money. But granted, she don't drive really expensive cars either. She's very modest on, like, she's not one of these, yeah, like, very flashy people. When I tell yeah, you. Honda that Kevin doesn't want me to have, but please continue <laughs> Every time Melissa I- getting that dog on CRV, I throw up in my mouth. <laughs> it's a nice, I'm, a, I'm a soccer mom. Honestly, I have it's a nice thing. CRV though. It's like I the sport package, food. black on black. It's murdered out, Kale. Murdered. It was our best car when we got it. <laughs> it's time still we great. Got it, I said, "What you niggas don't see me, boy? Don't see me? Don't see this? See about wheels. me? Wheels? What see about me? <laughs> Man, <laughs> you can open the trunk with the touch. <laughs> She's not scratching with oh, Melissa, done, Melissa done tongue kissed so many curves. <laughs> Kev. Kev, That's a night, shame. The night that we had to get all the vehicles off y'all street, 
And the I think they were already out. And I was like, I just need somebody to come get me so I can get Angel's truck. They came. <laughs> Melissa and Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa was supposed to be in the left turning lane. She was in the straight lane. When I tell you she parallel parked to get over <laughs> to the turning lane, <laughs> the whole time I'm tapping Mel's shoulder like, is everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I don't know what she don't make her nervous though. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's like, I make the rules tonight. All right. We're like, <laughs> we gonna try to take that thing back to Honda when the lease is over. They're gonna be like, what happened to the wheels? I don't know. They've been they they, they I don't think, I don't think no, it came they, with it. Not a bad driver, Christy. I don't she's know. Not a bad driver. She's not a bad driver. Other than that, scrapes. <laughs> she's a fantastic that driver. Is. Scrapes. Literally in 20 years, I think she'd been in one accident that was her fault. I think you were like 17, maybe. I remember being in no accident. No, you coming up that turning lane, that you thought that person had their blinker on, so you thought they was turning, oh, they hit you. They did. Mm -hmm. And they was like, "That's your fault," because they had the blinker on. <laughs> now I was in three accidents that summer. <laughs> <laughs> Within a I month. believe it. I mean, remember that? I had a month going. I was like, I keep falling asleep. I had tired. <laughs> At three o'clock. Oh, I'm exhausted. I see Kev pulling out. I don't know where we went to eat. You were pulling out of the parking lot. And I was like, why is he driving like that? Andrew's like, because he cannot drive, Marcus. You <laughs> when, think we be joking? <laughs> when we come into my house uh, to go into, you know, where the it turns in, Melissa's like, you overshoot this every time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I forget I got to make the turn. Your it's mind be like, everywhere else. Marcus. You driving, Kev. Just drive. No, he can't do Ooh, it. You sound like this. Will you drive? Will you just drive? I got too many things to do to just drive. Answer emails. Hey, things. Kevin on the horn. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> I was okay. on the horn. <laughs> I was trying my best not to create an argument a couple weeks. Actually, it was last week. This is Angel driving. <laughs> Scrolling through were social you, media. Let me ask I'm like, you, I said, Angel, could, could were you, you driving on the live today? Huh? Were you driving? <laughs> what do you, you know, mean? This nigga was taking her I hair said, down with both hands. Look, look. And I the said, car is, mo I said, Kev, is I, Marcus in, in the, there? In the Why did you comment in the live and say hello? Because I couldn't believe my eyes. I was looking for Kev, Marcus. This girl said, the light yeah, is so way I possible. told him. Just to keep from making tension. I said, so do you just want to drive right now? <laughs> Because Marcus can't talk. He do the same thing. No, I don't. <gasps> no, I don't. <laughs> I Anyways, do Angela Bassett shops at TJ Maxx. Because Angel be That's where we pulled up. Of course she Angel was taking TJ out her hand. Y'all seen it. And TJ the car Maxx. was moving. TJ I usually Maxx. have driving, one hand on the wheel. She driving, talking to 500 people, and taking her hair out all at the same time. Nah, I did everything. And people be like, oh, she multitasking. She's being dangerous. No, no, no. No, no, Liz. Don't you try to come to her rest. Put them fingernails down. Them strong-ass fingers. No. Go this ahead, strong man. Ass this is the thing about Kev. You know when, okay, <laughs> let's say there's three you. lanes, right? <laughs> but you two, are her. And then a turning lane. Usually that means there's two lights. One light for the people who are going straight. <laughs> Stop. A separate light for the person that's turning. I like the calmness of all this. Let me tell you something. Disregard my light. <laughs> Their light is green. Everybody's light light screen. <laughs> Listen, although, although I don't want to agree with her, that happened maybe a month ago. <laughs> we were taking Joe to a soccer game. All I see is green. Whether it's mine or yours, I, we all, people was moving. <laughs> so I go through the thing. All the other side, Melissa was like, your light was red. The problem is this. <laughs> Oncoming traffic is going to hit who? Yeah, yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't gamble with my life. You ain't got nothing to do you, with it. You just sitting there. Exactly. So now I got to get hit from traffic. Sorry, coming this way because your stupid self not paying attention. No, no, no. Risk your life. I know. Go you, on this side. You talking about me doing a live, but you did Periscope for a year. He used to make, his whole now. Instagram. His whole Instagram presence is made off videos he used to make when he was in the car driving. But you used to full blown cry and things. I saw you one time. You couldn't but even I, see. I did not take my. You hair were down. like, ah, your I eyes were closed. Cry. Yes, you did, Kevin. I did not cry and drive. Yeah, your I could, eyes I used to go closed, back. Though. I could go back and show you. Go back and show me. I'm gonna delete my Periscope. <laughs> Now one the thing kid. I did used to do, I used to edit. After I did a Periscope, I would shoot a video and I would edit it with my left hand. 
<laughs> so that by when I went to be walking to my job, I could upload it. I've I used to do Periscope parking. I never did it driving. I did it while I was Me parked, either. waiting outside of Kumon for my child. I would, uh, and I said, "This is stupid. Nothing's going to come of this. Nobody's going to become famous from this." And, lo- and then and look, look at what, it. What was <laughs> I, I used to see. Get, you didn't believe. I sure as hell did. You I always want to go too fast. I used to get so mad at the kids because we would get home or going somewhere, and first thing they do is they jump out the truck. Daddy was driving fast. I'm like, shut uh-huh. up. Uh huh. Just shut your damn mouth. I'm about to kill us all. I'm about to kill nobody. Y'all I had be slamming both y'all doors? Me. Slamming? No, Marcus no, doesn't allow that. Melissa's mm. Melissa's <laughs> Melissa's mm. father did not like the kids mm. slamming doors. I, I was not raised. I can't her. take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I want to make sure. Sh- why are you slamming my door? Like literally, he would fuss. So now I don't slam doors. You don't and need then, to slam them. Thank you. They want to close. The doors oh. rattle after so long. After when doors want to close. They want to close. They got to close. Doors want to close. <laughs> That's the most logical thing. That girl said doors, doors want to close. close. I want to. It's like, got a latch I that's made help to it. click. Trunks I know. Kept that's two-handed. how I usually. Boom. <laughs> Body slam. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know my own strength. Yeah, you do, damn it. Don't <laughs> slam it. Don't bring. Don't bring. Melissa get mad at me for slamming the car door in my car. Why you, you gotta slam it? Why you have to slam I, it, it don't feel like slamming to me. Ooh, the Mustang, because the door is metal and it's heavy. People think it needs to be slammed, and it, it feels don't. like it does. It does. It does feel it's like it does. You can door. pull it with your finger, and it will latch every time. People, my brother, my brother is as wide as this table, <laughs> <laughs> as strong as this building. He got a whoo. Oh, that's like that was that was him just tapping it. No, that, in his mind, no, he I just said, boy. Oh, I thought need be you know, it feel like need be. It don't. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, why you twerk so good in that video? Come on. That was the fabric. No, nah, Marcus, you was throwing that thing. Well, the thought right. that thing that is thing was <laughs> thinking. What? I watched what? the video. What? I watched what? the video. I watched the video. I watched the video. I said, was the spirit that it looks like I can twerk right here, don't it? I told Angel, one or two things happened. I said, either he always been good at twerking or he was practicing. <laughs> he's either always way, been we good. got a problem. Let me tell you, he's always been good because that's why we clicked. Marcus can dance his butt off and Marcus would pee pop on his own. Marcus, that different type of people. Get up off that ground. Yeah. He popping on a handstand. I used to get he down gets there. to I, be in a handstand. Look, I Did to, he really? Yes. I used to get down there with them hoes. <laughs> All right. Then I met the main hoe. <laughs> and I gave and I him said, a I'm challenge. Gonna, I'm going to hang this flap up. <laughs> I you know the flap. Marcus that's when you, that's when you dig this flap. Oh, flap. 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 I said, said I'm going to hang it up now. Oh, yeah. P-popping in Lexington? Oh, yeah. Marcus. I wish I was there. It was D-popping. D-popping. <laughs> Marcus, he gets you up against the wall. He going to be upside down, and you going to be getting his junk all smacked I'll up in your face. All across your face. And when I'm done, if balls, I stand up balls, and you smiling, balls, I got to. Balls, balls, balls. Yeah. Balls, <laughs> balls, balls. Blah, blah. Balls, yeah. balls. Dick. That's blah. Balls, that's balls. Why you like waka waka. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <Down it>. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> y'all was in church <laughs> worshiping together. <laughs> I love you. For the girls' trip, yes, we're going nightclub hopping because I've never been to a club. And M- Melanie and my my sister and Danny make fun of me because I what say girls nightclub. Trip? I told you, forty for forty. For oh, this is for my birthday. I'm I mean, it is for smaller. forty for forty. Though. Okay, that part is. All right, Marcus, you be too busy, kid. Oh, be no, I'm I never been busy in my life. Not I don't have anything to do. Also, you can't do that. We've already talked about this. Just because I'm going, don't mean you need to. You need to sit your butt at home. No, he been talking about the. He been talking about the, the Shh, cigar lamp. You have been getting in everybody's business. I just <laughs> I want you it. to not be a Karen to that. <laughs> <laughs> she said you she really can. She said, "Bloop." Karen, we're going to a strip club. Look at these flat booty. I'm trying to tell you, tipping big. Flat booties. Flat booties. Marcus gonna be like, move it. Heavy chest work. Yeah, get out of here. Y'all don't. Y'all don't. Know. Know. What to do though? <laughs> Let me throw that thing. We're going to Inglewood Strip Club, Ken. Me and you. As soon as they hit the girls' trip, we're gonna get a hotel nearby. Marcus ain't gonna even tell Ken. He'll be like, "Come on, I just need to go get some stuff. Come with me, ride with me." We gonna ride down the PCA. You know. <laughs> Why are we at LAX? Why are we at the landing strip? <laughs> <laughs> that's how we are now in Atlanta. <laughs> I must close my eyes and woke up. How did this suitcase pack itself? <laughs> this is very strange behavior. <laughs> Cam Collins, I don't know what's happening, but I'm not doing this on my own. I've been kidnapped. Y'all so lame. Y'all going to wind up in the same club we are. No. Nah, <laughs> no, we ain't either. Kev would definitely do it. Kev been talking about this cigar lounge for a minute. I said, Kevin. To the one you went to. I told him about it. Mm-hmm. 
I said, I if I end in. up there without you, it's your fault. No, nah, I, I, I asked the guy how I get in. <laughs> we're going right now. As soon as we leave. Right we're not members. We can get oh, members. You have to be a member? You have to, be a, you have to get recommended and then have your application approved. But you oh, talked to nice. the owner. He's not the owner, actually. He's close mm-hmm. enough. Mm-hmm. He's just a member. <laughs> he I told mis- you he was, I the the I really he was the only Because you I seen him walking there with cigar club. He was like mine, like the one I go you to. You seen him walking there with his own keys. Oh, okay, he owned it. Right. <laughs> and I found All the every, members every, got a key. It's <laughs> literally what happened. It's like the office. Everybody has a key to it. <laughs> we got in there, he was like, here's the owner. I was like, I thought you. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, no, this is no. my box. But we'll tell him he need to recommend us. This is his box. And we can right. go to my cigar lounge. Yeah. Right now. Kevin Tanks. As soon as we leave. Kanks. You know Kevin got something to do. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I never have nothing to do. He got a meeting at three. No one Clear my schedule. I don't have an assistant. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Where's my do this phone? for me. That's what he That's does. Hilarious. Victory, do be helping me. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this mukbang. I know y'all been asking for it for a while, so we're glad that we were able to give it to you. We'll be back doing the rest of the season for Married at First Sight um, next week on Mrs. Kev on Stage's YouTube channel. And as always, TBTB trip coming soon. That's Marcus is just yelling it, and hopefully it'll happen. All right. Put it in the ether. Put it in there. Bye. Oh, no. Bye. That chick angel. Hey. That chick angel.